Papa Haydn, known as the father of the symphony and the string quartet for the innovations he made in these genres. We are going to be performing Haydn's Symphony Number no. 104, and he wrote 104 symphonies. So you may be thinking, well, maybe by 104 symphonies, he could have been getting tired of it and, you know, run out of ideas. But it was actually the opposite. He got better and better better at writing the symphony and he became a master of writing it. So when we get to 104, I think it's the best one. I uh, first performed it when I was a very young violinist. It was the first time I'd ever played in a youth orchestra and I was struck by the very beginning of the symphony. As you can see, if you want to zoom in right here, the introduction. It says it's in D major and uh, yet we begin with a D minor introduction with a sighing figure in the first violins here, a dotted rhythm which creates maybe more of a regal theme. Perhaps he's nodding to the royalty of London and the London audiences here. And this sighing figure is very expressive. It creates a solemn and somber character, perhaps one of worrying and concern. And I was quite scared of it as a young violinist. I thought, wow, this is a deep uh, feeling that I'm, uh, these are dark colors, and where are we possibly going? And you can just zoom in right into the oboe here. This is the oboe line. The oboe creating a very rich color and one of perhaps the human voice uh, in, in mourning and in grieving. So it starts so seriously and yet we open up before you know it. I mean, I've only just turned one page here and the introduction opens into D major. Now, let me tell you about D major. It is the key of glory in Haydn's time and it's because the violins in the key of D major, all of their strings are open, so it's resonant, and most of the strings and the lower strings are also open. It creates a great ringing sound, and it's also a very vibrant key for the brass and winds. So you have something that opens up from darkness to light and great joy.